What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to NB Edits. As you guys know, we were down here on the lake fishing last night. Oh, it's a smallmouth. And we were catching some walleyes. It is the spring opener. Hang on. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's a decent one too. We got ourselves a football. Oh, don't shake it. Come here. Come here. Oh boy. There we go. Woo! First one of the night. Last night, guys, we were out here doing a little walleye fishing. You guys probably saw that in last week's video. We're gonna be doing the same thing tonight. That's obviously what we're targeting. But this guy just came up and slaunched on it. So hopefully this is just the first of many. The night is young. We're probably gonna be out here for a few hours tonight. But hey, hooked up with a beautiful little smallmouth. That one's probably about 15 inches or so. We're gonna go ahead and get a release on this one. See you later, buddy. Ooh, that water's cold. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead, and get another minnow on. Like I said, we were out here grinding all night last night. As you guys know, it's the 2019 opener. And last night went all right. We got into some pretty nice walleyes. Uh, afterwards, we woke, or we walked in at probably about four or five in the morning. And then we uh, ended up taking a nap. Went fishing all day today. It was okay, but not great. Now we're out here doing another night session. I think we're gonna get hooked up with some nice size walleyes. So let's keep her going. Oh yeah, that one just absolutely cranked it. it feels actually pretty nice. Walleye or a smallmouth? I don't know, it feels like a smallmouth. I mean, it could be. No, it's it's a small mark. No, 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 stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, got her. Woo! Second one of the day. Second one of the night, I should say. Oh, yeah, that one came up and absolutely just throttled me. Just clobbered it. Another decent one. This one's probably about 16, probably about the same size as the last one, very close. But that one came up and smacked it. We're just using live bait tonight. Go ahead and get a release on this beauty as well. See ya. All we're using is just a gold Northland tackle jig. I've got a little piece of Mr. Twister on there as well. And obviously we're just tipping that with a live minnow. And that seems to be doing the trick right now, guys. As you can tell, the sun's about to go down behind us. It's actually beautiful out. Like we couldn't ask for better conditions. We've got a light wind actually right now. It's pretty pretty mild but we had a light wind coming in which should be picking back up again tonight put a little chop on the top of the water for these walleyes so hope i was really hoping that one was actually going to be a walleye but hey i'll take a small mouth too so let's get another one yep another good one this one feels a little bit nicer most likely another small mouth pulled that one right off of that log it's actually not yeah, that's a small one. Oh my god, no, it's a walleye. It's a Holy walleye. cow. It's a walleye. Holy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Grab the net. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. No, 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 no. You no, got no. this? No. Or you need here. my help? No, I got him. I got him. I got him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. Let's go. Woo. Oh, that feels good. No, you stay in that net. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, I was not actually expecting that. The first two were smallmouth. Same, that one's a decent same structure one. too. Come here, buddy. Get him out of the net. Oh, he is all sorts of riled up. Get over here. All righty. There we go, guys. Same exact thing. Using that gold Northland tackle jig. If I can get that out of there. With a little piece of Mr. Twister, and that did the trick. Came up and smoked that little minnow that I had on there just using fat heads tonight but that's a gorgeous fish look at that gold color that is gorgeous all righty that's a nice one what do you think that one's running probably about I don't know 19 20 yeah it's got to be close we're gonna definitely have to get a measurement on this one so we're gonna go ahead get a measurement here real quick let me find the tape measure all right let's go ahead and get a measurement if this one is under 20 
We might keep it. It's going to be darn close. It's uh, 19, 18 and three quarters. All right. Let's go. That's a perfect little eater. So we're going to be taking this gem home. It's all right to keep a couple males. That's a perfect eater right there. 18 and three quarter inch male. We're going to put that one on the stringer. And that one, hopefully, is just the first of many. We can take a couple home with us, have a decent little meal, and uh, we'll put these together with the ones that we caught last night. We got that one male. That'll be good. Let's go. Give me some. Woo! Night is young, too. It's I not know, even the dark sun's, yet. Yeah, it's not even dark. Sun's barely coming down. I still got my shades on. Oh, we got time, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm finally hooked up. For a second there, I thought it was just going to be Brandon's video because he's just absolutely destroying the fish out here. As you can tell, sun went down. Very dark out here. Not, It hasn't been down for too long, maybe 20 minutes, and I just got hooked up. I believe this one's going to be a walleye. Feels pretty decent. Come on. Really does not want to come up at all. No sign of it. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, that's a nice walleye. Is it nice? Oh yeah. Do you need the net? Or you yeah, I, I can get the net. It's right behind you. Oh, it's on the surface. Oh god, oh god. Oh, oh dude, that's a got nice it. one. There we go. Yeah, that is a nice one. Oh. All right. It's been a, whew, it's been a long day for me. Believe it or not, last walleye I caught was um, 20, no, not 20, yeah, probably like 20 hours ago, honestly, because I hooked up not that long after midnight yesterday for the opener, and now it's about, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock, somewhere around there, but first walleye for me, I'm also using the Moon Eye Jig, but this one is chartreuse in color, and then I got the yellow Mr. Twister on there as well. Tipping it with a fat head. That's been the absolute ticket tonight. We're throwing in the shallow. We're jigging it off of uh, some rocks and some weeds on the edge of the shorelines. And these fish are absolutely feeding tonight. We're having ourselves a pretty decent day for getting out here late and uh, making up for today. Like just the whole trip itself hasn't been that great. Besides when we're at this lake and at night, these walleyes are. Something else in this lake, these northern Wisconsin lakes or something else, but I'm gonna get a release on this one. I'm not gonna hold it too long. Could get a measurement, but I figure it's probably a 22, 23 inch fish, so I'm not gonna spend too much time. Come on, girl, you got it. Boom, just like that. Off she goes to wherever the heck she's going, but. Hopefully she stays alive. Hopefully she gets a lot bigger and the next time we come here, catch her again and keep having fun. This lake is filthy with walleyes and I absolutely love it. Well, we were not recording, but I did end up catching this little guy. He's 16 inches. This one's gonna be coming home as well. Brandon and I both each caught a fish for tonight, which would be a nice little fish fry to go along with the ones that we caught last night. I wish we could record more and have the cameras on us at like all times, but we just physically can't when we're fishing at night. We can't run the GoPros constantly and we don't have anywhere to set up lights and the camera. So we have to constantly keep flipping back and forth to record us while we're hooked up and uh, hope everything goes good. This one though, didn't get it recorded, but like I said, wanted to show you guys that we got one. Trolling motor is pretty much dead. Our light that's running off of 12 volt battery is also almost dead so we got to have it really dimmed we're all the way across the lake so what we're probably gonna <laughs> hey <laughs> loons are being extremely noisy right now don't know what's getting into them but like i said uh we're probably gonna start heading it back because we're on the other side of the lake and it's getting kind of late already but we had a really good day and uh can't really ask for much more so we're gonna get back to the landing and we'll talk to you guys more when we get there Boy, oh boy, that was so much fun. Whew. Guys, I am so excited to be back at this truck right now. I am extremely tired. Nick's behind the camera. He is pooped as well. Guys, we've had ourselves a crazy day. As you guys know, we came down and we fished this lake starting at 12 in the morning, uh, which was almost 24 hours ago now. 
So we have been on an absolute grind. We, uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, uh, that was last week's video, go ahead and check that out. We did pretty well this morning. We came out here and caught some walleyes. And then we decided to take a nap. We tried two other bodies of water, which were okay, but didn't turn out great. So we decided to come back here and basically do the same thing. We came down and fished till uh, you know sunset there. Uh, we fished into the night and it turned out really, really well. And I guess I would say if there's anything to take away from this video uh, the number one thing I guess would be certainly never give up it doesn't matter you know what body of water on what species of fish you're going for I mean you just got to give it time that's what we did today we were out here absolutely grinding there were times where it felt like we just made cast after cast after cast and just couldn't get them going and sometimes it takes a little bit but the fish do eventually start to bite and you gotta be trustworthy with what you're throwing. We have been using these jigs nonstop, this Northland Tackle jigs, all different colors, silver, gold, green, sartreuse, they all work really, really well. So we've been sticking to those. The live bait worked well, plastics worked well last night. Overall, we just stuck to it, grinded, got into some really nice size smallmouth and some really nice size walleyes. So it was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. And guys, this is just the first 24 hours of the open season. We are we are so excited to be back on this grind. You guys have no idea how much we love coming up to the Northwoods. This is our second home to us. We love being up here. We're gonna be up here a heck of a lot more within the next few weeks. We're gonna start doing some more walleye fishing, more bass fishing. Eventually we're gonna do more musky fishing. There's so much to come. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave the video a big thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. And if you liked it, make sure to comment down below. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Until next time guys, tight lines from NBX.